so I think it's been long enough now that um, I can have a bit of a look back and talk about the Star Wars sequels and have a little bit of a and you know now that they're all out and that uh, um, everybody's just calmed down and nobody really you know cares that much about them um, or what someone says about them let's actually take a bit of a look back at uh, the Star Wars sequels and uh, uh, recently I had a little bit of a uh, revelation as to why they went down as badly as they did so um, episode yeah that'll be seven yeah episode seven uh, I'm really bad at remembering which part is which episode but yeah it goes one to three four five six and then there it goes seven pre uh, prequels are one to three sequels are four four five and six and then sequels are seven anyway uh, episode seven Force Awakens um, uh, yeah Force Awakens was an all right movie um, li uh, but the main problem is um, you know they just didn't really do anything new um, and the, uh, what they did do new sort of got ruined in the next movie and it sort of mainly relied on the next movie to sort of make it I don't know kind of just like it sort of relied on the next movie to just so you could the, what's the next movie then go back and say like, okay I see how that connects to that and that connects to that um, uh, but uh, this is where where the uh, main problem on the at least in my opinion the main underlying problem comes into effect but I'll talk about that later uh, then ep uh, episode 8 was the last Jedi Fuck this movie, fucking piece of shit, my god, Admiral Holdo is the dumbest fucking character, um, Finn and that girl, I can't even remember her name, She's, she left uh, such a little impression on me, had the most boring and unnecessary uh, side quest in any movie I have ever seen, um, I actually enjoyed the bit with like Rey and the uh, Luke on uh, the island and it, uh, I thought that was kind of interesting but it just got interrupted by fucking Finn and it, uh, the girl going to the casino place and it was just fucking boring and it's just like how did the hacker betray them because they didn't know what was going on because the only person they you know had a, were in contact with on the, the Resistance ship was uh, Poe, who he didn't know what was going on because Captain Admiral Holdo was a stupid leader. So, if Poe didn't know what was going on, and Finn didn't know, so he couldn't have told Finn and the girl what was going on, how the fuck did the fucking, um, fuck face, the hacker, how did the fucking hacker? No, what was going on? Did, Cap did Admiral Holdo get, you know, just in every time, just call him and like, hey, uh, we got this rebel player, I'm not telling uh, the, probably the best pilot um, and the, the best leader that's currently still alive right now because potatoes. Like, seriously, how did the hacker find out the plan? There, there was nobody. That we, that was shown. That could have told him the plan. Yeah. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, and the killing fucking um, Snoke was stupid. And then episode nine. I mean, it, it wasn't as severely flawed as uh, the Last Jedi, but. It is stupid, 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 stupid. My God, like the force he like force healing was a thing in Legends, but it was a very rare ability that very few Jedi could learn, and even those Jedi had to spend a lot of time training and to learn how to use that ability. 
It's like, nah, mate. I can uh, you. I can just go. Oh, you're healed now. Like, what? What? Um. So it's just like, and then again, a lot of people brought this up. It begs the question. So if Ray, an untrained uh, force user who just who had been on a desert planet who in most of her life, could just heal things. Now why did everybody else heal? For, use force healing like... Again, I'm not against the idea of force healing being introduced, but it has to be an ability that is hard to learn. I don't say so that only a select few Jedi can learn it. And yeah, you know, just so everyone's just like... So it's not just like everybody goes force heal, force heal, force heal whenever, whenever anybody gets hit because Oops, stupid, and then the railer weak heartedness. My god, why did they fucking. And then the whole Palpatine bull. And then the whole thing with all the super, like, Death Star Star Destroyers being controlled by one man. Oh my god, so many stupid ideas. So stupid. So fucking stupid. Um. So yeah. And I think, so like, let's go back to Force Awakens. Awakens. I mentioned there was one main underlying flaw here that affected the entire trilogy. And that is, they did not have a vision from the start. Like, they made Force Awakens, but they didn't have a vision for where we would go after Force Awakens, and then you know the last Jedi could have been could have wrapped up entirely because the the main bad guy was dead, and that uh, um, you know like, that could they could have easily have that be the last uh, part, just like um, have uh, you know have like Kylo and Rey kill Snow, can then you know kill the. Um, Imperial Guards, and then, um, without strong leadership, the, um, what were they called again? The, I can't even remember what they were called. Um, the Imperial Remnant, yeah, yeah uh, I think that was, that was, that's what they were called. Anyway, so the, basically, the, you know, the, it would all fall apart again, because, um, you know, it still had the same flaws as the Imperial Empire, or for, you know, it's just like, um, all the higher ups not really playing nice with each other and killing off each other to get more power, um, and then basically just like make it so, you know, the uh, Imperial Remnant falls to pieces and, you know, just gets, uh, you know, destroyed. Like, that could legitimately just been the end of the trilogy, straight up there, but it was only the second movie, so it had to keep on going. Um, so, you, yeah. So, by the time of uh, Rise of Skywalker, they had no real intimidating bad guy. They literally had, they were left with basically nothing going into the Rise of Skywalker. Like, sure, the resistance was fractured and it, uh, um, on its last, you know, basically on its like, last legs, but, it's, you know, it's just, again, they don't have an intimidating bad guy, because Kylo Ren is not an intimidating bad guy. Like, he is not Darth Vader, he is not fucking Palpatine, even Palpatine from the prequels was more intimidating and more because you know in the prequels you actually saw him you know manipulate you know his uh, environment around him to, so he could get into power and then manipulate and you know just manipulate everybody to get get as much power as he could um and he did it so masterfully he even manipulated the jedi um and yeah and you know what, you can complain about the prequels or the original trilogy all you want, but you have to set... There is something both of them did really well that the sequels did not, and they all had a vision. 
Lucas, making the prequels and the original trilogy, had a vision. He knew where he wanted the movies to start, he knew where they were going, and he knew where they were going to end. Uh, this, in episode one, he knew uh, he wanted to start with Anakin on the, the desert planet, and uh, by the end of the movie, he was going to be, be trained to be a Jedi. He knew that in the uh, next movie, he wanted to uh, he wanted Anakin to be like a horny teenager and to sort of like um, fall you know fall in love with Padme, and you know for Padme to fall in love with him to just like make her forbidden love kind of stuff. And then in the third movie, he wanted to um, have Anakin fall to the dark side to try and save Padme. And uh, you know, in the original trilogy, his idea was you start off with Luke on a desert planet, and uh, um, you have a, uh, you know meet up with Leia, and, uh, um, and then Obi Wan gets killed off, and then you know by the end of the movie they're off to the re uh, Rebels base, uh, you know center of the movie, uh, second movie. Wait, is it the second movie? Oh, it's been a while since I've watched the original trilogy, so forgive me if I'm getting this a little bit wrong. Um, but the, uh, it was the second movie where they destroyed the Death Star and uh, uh, saved the Rebel base and uh, Luke goes off to train with Yoda. Th uh, third movie, um, I think it was Cloud, I think, oh wait no, second movie had Cloud City and you know everybody was broken up and the, um, then third movie they had to go save uh, um, Han and uh, um, destroy the second Death Star. You know, Lucas had uh, you know, had a vision for where he wanted the stories to go, and it, uh, you know, what he wanted to, you know, what he wanted to happen throughout the movies with each, with each characters. You cannot deny that he, whether you love the prequels, hate the prequels, love the original trilogy, hate the original trilogy, you have to admit that Lucas had a clear vision for, you know, where he wanted the story to start and where he wanted it to end. Um. Uh, but, and like I said, um, the sequel strategy didn't have that. They didn't have a vision when they started for where they wanted the story to start and end. They only just had a vision for where they wanted the movies to start and then, you know, the individual movie. They, they only had a vision for uh, where The Force Awakens started and ended. They had a vision for when, um, uh, you know, The Last Jedi started and ended. And they had a vision for where uh, The Rise of Skywalker started and ended. But they didn't have... And um, because of that, they sort of didn't have a very well flowing narrative. Like one movie doesn't flow well into the next, that doesn't flow well into the next, and it just does not work. Because again, they didn't have they didn't have clear defined vision. Um, so yeah, I mean that's not the only problem with the sequel trilogy, but it is probably the biggest problem because even if they, uh, even if all the other problems persisted, if they had, you know, a vision for the entire trilogy, and it, uh, um, where it would start, where it would end, and what would happen in between, then I think it would have been more coherent and just like a better experience overall, overall because, you know, even then, I, you, uh, you'd still, people would be like, yeah, I didn't really like it, but I, you know, it got from the beginning to the end and was, you know, with a fairly, fairly realistic and, you know, planned it all out. You know, they just didn't plan it all out. Um, and, yeah, that's that basically why the sequel trilogy didn't really work. Like, well, the main, re again, main reason is there's like smaller reasons for each individual movie. And that's, and that's also another thing. Each individual movie has their own problems because, um, you know, The Force Awakens, again, I relied a lot on the uh, next next movie to just uh, sort of, you know, connect some dots and, you know, by now it doesn't, it doesn't really help hold up too well because you're not really excited, you know, the next two movies didn't really do well. Um, and, it, uh, you know, again, that, the last year it has so many problems, just plot holes, plot holes, plot holes, and it's stupid character, you know, stupid the characters, so much stupidity, my god, that movie, I'll never watch it ever again. 
Um, and then the Rise of Skywalker was just. They were left. They were. Uh, uh, right. I'll give Rise of Skywalker this. They did the best which, with what they had. But again, what they had was nothing, so. They, they really struggled with that movie. And again, it had some flaws and stupid characters, but. At the end of the day, again, it did the best with what it had, and. What it had was a dead Carrie Fisher, a dead Luke Skywalker, a dead Han, so Han, so Han Solo, and a, uh, a dead Snoke, and um, yeah, right. Did, did the Asian girl, did the Asian girl from the, uh, uh from. Last year, I even come back in this movie. I can't remember. Yeah. But it's just like they again. They had nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Um. But I think what's bigger than uh, the responses to the movies themselves it was. The response from Disney and I can't remember what his name was. Was it Ryan Johnson who directed the Last Jedi? Let me. I'll. I'll I can look this up quickly. But um, their re, their responses to the criticism of the Last Jedi is really. Uh, hold on. Who directed the Last Jedi? Star Wars: The Last Jedi yeah. was directed by Ryan Johnson. Ryan? Ryan? Uh. So yeah, I was right, it was directed by Ryan Johnson. Um, how they um, responded to the criticisms from fans really just killed everything after. It's like, even, even like the spin-off, it even impacted the spin-offs. Like, um, uh, Rogue One was did decently well because um, uh, it was be in between uh, The Rise of Skywalker sorry, no, it was in between uh, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi um, and that did decent really well but after The Last Jedi and all the criticism for The Last Jedi came out and then Ryan Johnson basically attacking the fans and you know Disney and all that then Solo a movie that nobody wanted and nobody asked for fucking failed like I mean, I mean, it didn't do bad for a movie, but for a Star Wars movie, one of the biggest franchises in the world, it it fucking feel like um. Let me just get this up quickly. How much money did uh, Solo gross? Three hundred and ninety-three point two million. Million. How much money did Rogue One make? Rogue One, a Star Wars story about a Jedi and his quest to save the Republic. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. S box office is one billion fifty-six million dollars. One billion, and that's not even the again. That's Rogue One. Not even. The, Force Awakens. This is Rogue One, like one point oh five six billion. Where, where um, Solo couldn't even make half a billion and only got three hundred and ninety three point two million. Uh, but yeah, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, uh, uh, two point oh six six billion. Uh, the. Uh, Oh yeah, they. Right, yeah, that yeah, that's Force Awakens. And the yeah, Force Awakens. Um, where is Star Wars? Like even um. Star Wars: the Last Jedi made one point three 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 billion. Like yeah, yeah, you can definitely tell that. Ryan Johnson and the Disney attacking the fans 
definitely hurt the franchise. Like, there is no denying that. Um, and Kathleen Kennedy... Again, she... Like... And uh, I think she is probably the most responsible person for the sequel trilogy not having a vision, because she is supposed to be the leader of Lucasfilm. She is supposed to be the new George Lucas. She is supposed to be the visionary. But when I look at Star Wars now, I don't see um, Kathleen Kennedy's vision of Star Wars. I don't really see a vision of any particular person as a vision of Star Wars. I just see each individual person just like doing their own thing and they're not and there's no real one person, you know, overseeing it and with a vision of Star Wars like uh, George Lucas used to do. Um, like you, you like the man, hate the man, you know, whatever opinion you have of George Lucas, George Lucas was a visionary. He had, you know, ideas and he knew where, you know, what kind of universe and lore he wanted to build around Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy does not know what she is doing. Um, other than uh, wanting to shove as many minorities into the properties as she can, um, she has no idea what she's doing. Right. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I think that's... I touched on just about everything to do with why the sequels failed. It's just like, no vision and Ryan Johnson... My God, Ryan Johnson just... Fuck. Alright, Ryan Johnson just... Let, let's talk about Ryan Johnson here for a minute. I don't like to attack, you know, attack, well, I don't know if this would be attack people, but, well, no, this is criticising. He did these, these things that I'm going to say. I'm going to say that Ryan Johnson killed the sequel to Liturgy. Because, again, Force Awakens wasn't anything great, but, you know, it could have been a good movie uh, if it, uh, and it uh, could have been made, uh, you know, better by a good supporting, you know, follow-up movies. Um, but Ryan Johnson didn't care about the next movie that was coming out. He just wanted to make, you know, his movie the way he wanted to make it. He and didn't care for anything. He didn't care about whether the movie was good. He just wanted to, you know, make it. He wanted to make a subversive movie. So he killed the off Snoke and left the rest of the series without a bad guy. Like, the, there's subverting expectations, and there's and there's subverting expectations in a good way. Ryan Johnson did not subvert my expectations in a good way. I expected to see a good movie. He subverted my expectations. Yeah. Like, kind of, it's more like, he should... He really, like, even then, he, in an interview, he was asked, um, you know, if he thought any of the criticism of the, the um, Last Jedi was valid. He said no. He basically saying his movie was perfect. That is not somebody you want to work on your movie. Because if somebody can't see the flaws in their own work, then how are they going to ever progress, change, adapt, and evolve? They're not. They're just going to remain stagnant and make the same shit over and over and over again. Like um, with me, I you know I can accept that uh, um, all my videos aren't you know the best. Um, I look at like I make a video. You know I think. What I do is I try to make make something I think people will find interesting, or you know, just like try. I basically try to entertain people, even if it's just for like 
half an hour, an hour or two, if, if I'm live streaming, you know, just something that I'll just like entertain people for a little while. Um, or with like a video like this, it's like, you know, maybe put forward, so, uh, you know, something, you know, an idea that I've not really thought about. Like, um, maybe somebody watching the video didn't think about um, that the main, one of the main underlying thoughts was the lack of vision. Maybe they're like, oh, yeah. They kind of never really did have a vision, did they? You know. But, you know, and the dad can just like, you know, look at my videos and it's like, you know, make short form uh, what I've been doing recently. I've been making like shorter videos with like, um, like mini reviews of like game cases and it's like looking at the views and the likes to dislikes and it's like, okay, this, uh, this, this block review got more likes than, um, this review or mini review of a, um, you know, uh, you know, Nintendo Switch game case, so uh, maybe people aren't uh, as interested in a, in short form reviews of game cases, but, uh, then you have the fact that that block review also did less than another block review, which did more than this block review by hundreds, and this one had got like over 1,000 uh, uh, views, where this one only got four, and the one after that got four, then the next one got eight hundred over 800, the one after that got over 700, so yeah, it's kind of a bit, it, you know, you have to just like, you know, I look and just like, okay, uh, why did, you know, what did I do differently in this one that compared to this one, or this one and why might that be a thing or whatever um, and really I can't tell the difference between any of these blog reviews I think it's just like YouTube can just be a bit weird with uh, pushing their videos out to people sometimes um, but yeah like um, in my older videos I can just be like um, with like, uh, uh, like um, how fast was my quad spawner? Um, I was using a new thing and then I saw sort of like messed up the video and I should have like, uh, you know, what uh, check the video, make sure it wasn't it was all like uh, saved properly. Um, Uh, how uh, looking back at my how to use uh, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon uh, with their hidden abilities, um, one of the items I put on uh, Cinderace I think was an e expert belt which increases super effective hits, which at the time uh, you know felt like, felt like a good idea, but looking back at it, you'd probably just be better off with a life orb. Um, and uh, looking back at my Hollow Knight series, um, there was just like some things I didn't try that I should have tried. Like um, uh, there were areas that I couldn't jump over and I couldn't understand why. And it was because um, you can attack off like um, spikes, just like bounce off them, which I never even tried. So I should try that. Um, And um, the whole Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Mystery team, but uh, the RNG decides my thing, you know, that was going to be a series, but that was just a bad idea. Um, I'm just looking back at my old videos, just like looking at something I can criticize. Um, I miss Pixel last Sunday, might. Do you live stream spilling some pixel out sometime? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, can I beat 15 Ender Dragons? That was kind of like a bad idea. Yeah. Destroying the end crystals with redstone wasn't a bad idea. Just kind of not. 
the best executed. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not gonna keep on doing this because in the video going on for too long. Um, you know, I already have fifty minutes, so yeah. Um, and that's why Ryan Johnson should probably never direct anything again because he can't accept criticism and if you can't accept criticism of your works then you can't learn from them and then you can't improve basically and it, uh, um, attacking the, the fans of a franchise is something you should never ever ever do like um, Nintendo gets sponsored shit when the whenever they pull down a fan game and that's well that's not exactly in the same vein as what Ryan Johnson has been, uh, did um, it's kind of the same idea of just like um, punishing the fans for just like caring about the franchise kind of idea um, so yeah anyway uh, this is just like my look back at the Star Wars sequels and my thoughts on them I'll see you guys in the next video live stream, whatever I decide to do, bye bye.